Hi guys and welcome in this new video. In this video we'll talk about portfolio optimization because of course it is good to create different trading strategies but knowing how to combine them in order to reduce your risk keeping a comfortable return is much more interesting. Before beginning the videos I have simulated different trading strategies return but if you don't know how to create a trading strategy and you want to learn you can just take a look to the AlphaQuant program in the description that combines e-learning videos, 7 day of a 7 support and real life monthly project where we create real life trading bots. So we'll switch directly to the code. You can find the code too into the description. First of all I will import several things like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, SciPy to do our optimization and so on. So basic stuff. Then I have imported also my file containing my simulated returns. Okay, you just have to drag and drop it there and then it will be accessible for you. So you can run the cell and you will have your data. Then I did a small function to create the drawdown. So first I compute my cumulative return, then the running max and the running max is very easy to understand. Let's imagine that I have this series for example, you have 13531, three, okay? We keep always the previous maximum. If we are at the beginning and we are only with these two numbers, okay? The maximum is 3. So this value will be 3. If we are with this three number there, the maximum will be five. So the value will be five. If you take this five number, okay, over all these numbers, the maximum is five. So the maximum will be five and same for here. And then we use the function of the drawdown, which is cumulative returns plus one divided by the running max and you do minus one over that. So now let's plot very quickly the different cumulative returns of our simulated trading strategies and the drawdown of this different strategy. So we can see that when we have, for example, an amazing returns like there, okay, strategy five, we have also the drawdown that comes with it. With it very, very high, minus 70% of drawdown is very, very high. So our goal now is to find a way to combine our different trading strategies in order to reduce the risk because minus 70% or even minus 30%, 20% of drawdown is very high for a trading strategy portfolio, but keeping a comfortable return because the goal at the end is to have interesting returns. That's why we create trading strategies. And so we will use portfolio optimization to do that. But first of all, we need to do a quick reminder about what is an optimization. When you do an optimization, you need three things. First of all, the data. You need something where the algorithm can optimize, can look and say, that's good, that's not good. Okay. The second thing is that, okay, how can we say that it is good or no? You need to have a criterion to say that, okay, this one is good and this one is not good. You can take the profit, the volatility, the drawdown, you can take whatever you want. For us, it will be the standard way of optimizing our trading bot portfolio, which is the mean variance optimization. And once you have these two things, you need an algorithm that will do the optimization. And for us, it will be the gradient descent. So let's switch back to the code and take a look to it. In the function, I have the weights and the data as input. The goal is to be able to create my portfolio return, which is obvious. Once I have my portfolio return, I can extract the daily average return because my data was in daily basis and the standard deviation. Then I can create my criterion and the mean variance criterion is generally computed like the mean, the average minus lambda, which is the parameter of risk aversion. Generally, it is set up at three, but the more you dislike the risk, the higher the lambda will be. If you really don't want a lot of risk, you can put lambda around five or 10, for example. If you want to have more return, even if it brings more risk, you can decrease the lambda around one. And so the formula is pretty simple, mean minus lambda times the variance of the returns. Then we need to specify a very important thing. 
in the previous cells, we'll use minimize because generally when we do uh, an optimization, we'll always minimize and not maximize. The little tips, the little trick that you will use is that maximizing a function is like minimize the opposite of this function. So we just have to put minus the criterion that we want to optimize and put it into a minimize function to have the good weights. So now let's switch directly to the optimization. First of all, we take a train set and a test set because of course, if we validate or invalidate this method on the train set, it's very difficult because it is always the best performances that you can have. So you need to test your method on unknown data. Then we extract the number of assets. Why? Because we need to give an initial value. So we'll just put a vector containing 11111 for any asset. So that's why we need to compute the number of assets first. Then we have a constraint. When you put a constraint into an optimization, function, generally you need to put equal zero at the end. Okay. So that's why here our constraint is to use all our capital so that the sum of our weight is equal to one. So we put the sum of the weight minus one. So it is equal to zero. So it is the good way to create this constraint. Then we can set the bonds. The bonds for us is between zero and one. You need to say to the algorithm, okay, you can modify the values only into this space. And this space for us is between zero and one because zero means we don't take this trading strategy. And one means we take 100% of our capital into this trading strategy. And then we'll do the optimization. It's pretty easy. You put the criterion, the initial value, the method for us, we'll use this one. Then as args, the minimize functions know that the first parameter of this function is obviously the weights. Okay. Then if you need to put something else, you just have to put them into the args. Okay. If I had a third parameter there, I just had to put it there. Then you put the bounds, the constraint, and then option is just to have the result of our optimization. And so if I run and here I run this code, I will have the different weight for each trading strategy. And as we can see, a lot of them are just equal to zero. So it means that we just didn't take them. So that's why maybe you can change the bound. If you have work to create these trading strategies, or if you want just to reduce the risk, you can put, for example, a minimum percentage of 0 0.5, which means 5%. And so you have 50% left to put it where you want. And so now we can just plot the returns, the cumulative returns. As we can see, we have a much lower return than the best trading strategies. For example, 500, 800, because first of all, it is a smaller set, but it is also because I have a much lower drawdown because as you can see, I have a 8% drawdown just combining my trading strategies in a good way, which is far away from the minus 20, 25, 30 that we can see there and even 70 for the worst of them. So it was a bit the rush into the video. I really wanted to do not take too much time. So that's why I went really fast. If you have any question, interrogation or anything, just feel free to drop a comment to ask your question and see you soon in the next video.